Back for Blood card mechanics have been explained. The new Fable game will be using a racing games engine. And the next Battlefield has some new screenshots. I'm your host Mr. Given Manis, coming to you live from this ridiculous production room. And you're watching Bombastic Game News. Hey, fuck off. First one we'll talk about is the game, upcoming one that is left for Dead 3. Oh, oh no, that's not the one. It's back for blood. Because who cares about making Left 4 Dead 3, am I right? This game has some really interesting ideas and one of them is cards. Because that is what we need in a video game. These cards will let you build your match and turn it into something else. And even though people sort of understood how it all works, Back for Blood came in with an official video for it. So thank you, I guess? Hey John, write these down, okay? Sometimes you might... Oh wait, why am I even telling you? You, you, don't, you won't be playing this game. Why not? I mean, see, you don't have a PC. Plus, I don't want to give you this PC because I don't want my mom be like super, super afraid because nobody's sitting in this chair while somebody is playing the games in the PC. That is a horrifying shit that nobody wants to see. The game will have a director who will throw corruption cards and these cards will bring a lot of changes like changing environment, adding challenges like a timer and will also spend special mutated monsters. Once director plays their card, it's time to play yours. Each member in your team can have a stack of cards that you can either build or just use the default ones. These cards will enhance your character, the way you shoot and adds more interesting things. They mention some of the cards from the director as well as from the players, like the right swarm which has zombies with armor on them. So you have to use more bullets. You can have a card such as Combat Knife where zombies will die in one knife shot to the head or having an ammo stash which makes secondary weapon have unlimited ammo. There are so many cards that you can unlock and you can do that by doing side missions which will give you supply points and using the supply points you can buy those cards. You can use the supply points to also buy cosmetic items which… Uh, yeah, sure. I cannot wait for this game because this game is very much fun as it was with Left 4 Dead 2, if not better than Left 4 Dead 2 and I'm so much excited to see when this game comes out because I'm gonna play this game throughout. Do you understand me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand? Oh, John cannot understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. John can never understand these things. It's only between a gamer and a gamer. The next story is about a game that's coming up soon. It's Battlefield 6 or maybe it's just Battlefield. I seriously don't know how it all works. We got two new screenshots in this game and one of them actually looks a lot more futuristic. Yep, that is exactly what we wanted. Stop complaining, man. Dude, did I even ask your opinion about it? When I ask, then you share your opinions. Do you understand me, John? The first screenshot shows a rocket launch as we see it inside a vehicle cockpit, probably a helicopter. And then the second one is a more zoomed out overview of an island with a storm in the background. Oh my god, I have no words for this. I mean, I literally don't have any words for this. I don't know how to explain this because we don't have any kind of trailer yet. So maybe let the trailer drop down and then we can talk about it. A person by the name Tom Henderson said that Battlefield will be set 10 years from now and is some sort of sequel to Battlefield 4 and it will also play like Battlefield 3 on some kind of steroids and will simply be called Battlefield because EA is sick of numbering them. You know how it is, according to DICE or EA, Battlefield 5 came after Battlefield 1. So what do you guys have in mind about Battlefield? That sounds so wrong, it should have a number. Why does it not have a number? The new Fable game is coming out soon and who doesn't like Fable? I don't know, I never played it. What? what what's the big deal? I, I d didn't play it. How have you not played it? Dude, I, I didn't get to play this. I, I It's fine, I can play this when the game comes out. My god, dude, you are weird. Hey, 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 dude. It's just a video game, understand this, just a video game. Don't get all crazy about this, my god. We have no news unfortunately on when Fables is coming out. But I have an exclusive news that I can share to you, where I can tell you in which engine Fables will be made. The game will be made in the same engine as Forza Horizon or Forza Motorsport games as the studio of Forza Horizon Playground is the one developing Fables. This came from a job listing by Turn 10 Studios who needs an engineering who will be responsible for bolting new features into Forza Tech Engine including ray tracing. Turn 10 Studios is responsible for Forza Motorsport as well as Forza Horizon games. 
The job description said that they're working on enriching the toolset to support bigger open world RPG games like Fable. The listing even says a major impact on three AAA titles. Two of them which we know is gonna be Fable and Forza Motorsport 8 and the third one, well that one could definitely be the next Forza Horizon. That's a lot of info I just spit out to you like a news anchor but trust me, I am no news anchor, I'm just a video gamer. Fables will definitely take a long time to come out. But you know what the best thing to do while you wait for the game to come out? <laughs> Watch Pom- And there you go folks, this was Pompastic Game News. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this news. If you like it, hit the like button and please definitely consider subscribing because I will post out more of these videos and also Resident Evil Village Let's Play is gonna happen from tomorrow. So definitely stick around by subscribing because guess what? I'm beautiful. What the fuck?